Good day, I'm Dwayne Matz. Welcome to today's Living Word. We're continuing in the book of Isaiah today, starting a new chapter, chapter 19, beginning at verse 1. The burden against Egypt. Behold, the Lord rides in the swift cloud and will come into Egypt. The idols of Egypt will totter at his presence, and the heart of Egypt will melt in its midst. That's Isaiah 19, verse 1. What do you think of when you read of Egypt in the Bible? I know I immediately think of Joseph and how he rose to be second in command. And with his leadership, his brothers and his father were eventually delivered from the sure death of a severe famine. And then I think of another Joseph and his bride Mary fleeing to Egypt with their infant son Jesus to escape the sure death at the hands of Herod. Jesus survived, of course, and now by faith in him, we have been delivered from the sure death of hell and damnation. So one thing I think about when the word Egypt pops up in the scripture is deliverance from sin. Also, when I think of Egypt, I think of the Israelites and their wilderness wanderings, you know, before they entered the promised land, and how often they long to go back to the delicacies of of Egypt, the delicacies of the world, if you will. They were willing to trade their freedom for the bondage of sin just to enjoy the goodies of the world. So I also think of our tendency to backslide. One more thing that comes to mind when I read of Egypt, and this is closely related to the judgment that's going to be pronounced here in Isaiah against Egypt. During the threatenings of conquest by the Assyrians and others, the Israelites often sought aid from the Egyptians rather than trusting in God. They looked to the world for their answers. And God always sought to warn the Israelites to not trust in the power of Egypt to save them. And here in Isaiah, the Lord reminds us of how quickly his judgment can come. He talks about a swift cloud. And when the judgment comes, the idols of the world the idols of Egypt will totter. They will do no good at all. They will totter and they will fall. And just look around at our world today. What do we see? We see pestilence. We see the sword, violence everywhere, and famine. All these things are on the rise. And note how quickly these changes have come upon us. But no one seems interested in linking these outbreaks to the judgment of God. The world has this spirit of Babel, which says, we'll figure this out without God. No one seems to be interested in the really the only one true solution. That is repentance and a return to trusting in the one true God alone. Tottering idols will eventually fall. They're like houses built on sand. Those houses that Jesus talked about in Matthew 7, 26 and 27, he said, But everyone who hears these sayings of mine and does not do them, whoever doesn't listen to God, will be like a foolish man who built his house on the sand. And the rain descended, the floods came, and the winds blew and beat on that house, and it fell. And great was its fall. Great was its fall. Repent and believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm Dwayne Matz, and that's today's Living Word.